Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, this video is for the Biotech fans out there, and it's a video on what's your favorite mechs. Um, I say mechs because the way I'm doing this is breaking it down by weight class of light, medium, heavy, and assault only. No proto mechs or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> and um, I'm going to further break it down by clan and inner sphere if you choose to do so. So you pick one from each uh, weight class for clan and inner sphere, and uh, as your favorite. So I'll, I guess I'll go right now. Um, now I'm a clanner at heart. I'm a big fan of the clans. That's what I would like to play. Uh, should I truly get into battle tech? Um, I would like to play the clans. Um, but I'll do them first because I think my industry picks a little bit more interesting. So for the clan, for the um, light, I pick the adder, which is also known as the puma. Uh, a lot of bite there in its primary weapon configuration, and that's what I'm going by. I'm going by pure primary weapons configuration only. Uh, all the alternates are cool for all the mechs, but just picking my primary. Uh, so the light would be the Adder, also known as the Puma. For the medium, it would be the Nova, also known as the Blackhawk. Um, 12 ER medium lasers make me happy. For heavy, it's tough. I think a lot of the quality clan mechs come in the heavy class range. You got your Timberwolf, you got your Mad Dog, you got your Summoner, you got your Hellbringer, you got your Ebon Jaguar, which is the Coldronborn. Um, it's um, a lot of uh, a lot of quality mechs in that range. And those are just some of them. At the end of the day, it came down between the Timberwolf, known as Bad Cat, which is this mech right here, and uh, the Ebon Jaguar, which is the Coldronborn. Um, between the two of them, both are quality mechs. Both are going to give you a run for your money in combat. Both are going to be a tough fight. The Timberwolf is much more iconic, which is why I tend to lean towards that when I pick a favorite heavy mech. <clears throat> so, everybody knows what the Timberwolf Everybody seen it in Battletech. Um, when you see it, you know you're in for a fight. When you have one on your side, uh, you feel confident. It's just a very good um, design and a very good mech. The Cauldronborn is also very tough. Um, a little bit more on the ammunition dependent side but still a very tough mech so it's a tough call I'm gonna have to just leave it right there a little bit of a cop-out answer between those two but uh, it's a tough call the Cauldronborn is really the Ebon Jaguar but nobody calls it that really so it's the Cauldronborn um, for Assault I have to go with the Warhawk also known as the Masakari um, I'm a big fan of PPC uh, weaponry so the Warhawk takes my vote there um, for its primary weapon configuration. So that's the clan choices. For the Inner Sphere, the Light Mech, gotta give it to the Urban Mech. I really do. Um, it's a trash can at legs, but I love it. I think it'll surprise you. I think it's really underrated. Um, I'm not saying it's awesome sauce or anything like that, but I think it's a bit underrated. And uh, I enjoy the Urban Mech. Um, for Medium, Gonna have to give it to the Centurion. Originally, I was gonna say the Hunchback, but Centurion, uh, it's just, I think, it's a very nice uh, blend of weaponry on the Centurion. For heavy, hands down, no questions asked, giving it to the Flashman. If you don't know the Flashman, you should. It's a very cool map. Um, it's on the Biotech wiki if you want to see what it looks like. Uh, maybe eventually I'll actually get a, a mini of him, just because my favorite heavy mech of the Endosphere. Uh, he's just cool. A lot of energy weapons there. Pretty much only energy weapons. I, I just really enjoy that mech. I think I think it's sorely overlooked for all their heavy mechs in, in um, the Inner Sphere. But I think the, the Flash Man is where it's at for me. For heavy. Um, for Assault, there are some nice mechs here. Of course, you got the classic Atlas. Um, you got the Zeus. You got the King Crab. You got the Mackie. <laughs> Can't forget the Mackie. Um, but it's, for me, it boils down between the Highlander and the Awesome. Um, Highlander's cool and everything like that, but I think having my favorite weapon and three of them, the Awesome, I think that they give it to at the end of the day. It's just, as the name implies, Awesome. It looks, I mean, the Highlander looks cool, don't get me wrong, but for me, the Awesome looks like it's just going to run you over. It looks like it doesn't care what's in its way, it's going to blow it apart. Um, 
I just like the look of the awesome. I think it's very um, easily recognizable. And when you see it, you know there's a lot of pain coming your way um, with its three PPCs that it has. So, Highlander and Awesome are right up there, but I think I'll have to pick the Awesome. So, that's it for my choices for Clan and Inner Sphere. Um, kind of a cop out answer here and there, especially for the Clan Heavy Mech. But, um, those are my choices. So, feel free to leave a comment if you want to, listing off your choices. But I'd rather see video responses so you can kind of ramble on about why you chose it. Um, and yeah, hope to hear from you people to uh, see what people like, what people are fans of. And until next time, take it easy.